carry North Carolina for Washington. Trinity Rodman, second in the league in NWSL assists. She's tied at that spot right now. Can she add to her total tonight? On the other side, you have one of the best keepers, Casey Murphy, looking for that 11th clean sheet on the season. Washington, North Carolina, right here on Paramount+. Plus. and Washington Spirit. I'm Josh Toll, and with me is the keeper, Jen Cooper. And Jen, it is a tight race in the standings here in the NWSL. You look at how close it is between that third spot and all the way down to the eighth right now where Orlando Pride sit. Josh, never have we had the standings this close, this late in the season. Both of these teams, North Carolina and Washington, could jump up to third with a win depending on other results but it's so close between all these teams. Four points from third place to eighth place for Washington Spirit, though, making a name once again this year is Ashley Hatch. Tied for the league lead in goal. She had a brace against Louisville. She's up to nine. She is slowly approaching that Washington Spirit club record of 23 set by Diana Matheson. Last time these two teams met, she had a brace against her former club. Can she do it again here tonight? And you look on the other side, one of the best to ever do it, and all-time leader in NWSL assist, Jess McDonald. What can you say about Jess McDonald that hasn't already been said? She got goal number 51 of her NWSL career at Houston Sunday night. She's one of just three players that have passed the 50 goal mark. And hey, she's also the all-time leader in assists. She has so much to offer that front line. You're looking at firepower on both sides for these teams. Which team will come up? 90 minutes will decide who will become the possible winner in tonight's matchup between the North Carolina Courage and the Washington Spirit. When we return, we'll have starting 11, an opening kick for you right here on Paramount+. Plus. Welcome back to Wake Med Soccer Park in Cary, North Carolina. Just seconds away here from open kick between the North Carolina Courage and the Washington Spirit as we'll take a look at tonight's starting 11 for both sides. And we'll begin with head coach Chris Ward and his starting 11 here for the Spirit. Two changes, Josh. We've got Paige Nielsen back in the lineup. She was used as a sub this past weekend. She's starting again on the left. That moves Kelly O'Hara over to the right. And Tori Huster taking the place of Andy Sullivan, who had a Small knock on her knee over the weekend, so they're just playing it safe, resting Sullivan. Ashley Hatch, of course, tied for the league lead in goals with nine on the year, going up against her former club, and this will be the starting 11 for head coach Sean Nahas. Two key changes in that box midfield. Carrie Ricaro, Meredith Speck coming into the midfield. Otherwise, it's the same lineup for Sean Nahas that took on Houston over the weekend. And you look at, of course, that back line led by Abby Urseg and Abby Urseg in that back four. They're going to have the tough, tough task of going up against that front three of the Washington Spirits. Bark at the park night tonight at Cary, North Carolina. So the pups are in the stands here this evening to watch their favorite team hopefully come up with a win for them. North Carolina looking for that 10th win of the season. Meanwhile, the Washington Spirit looking for the ninth win right now. A battle between the fourth position in the playoffs and the fifth position. Well, and they're probably not even thinking number of wins. They're probably thinking, we just won three points. I want three points. There's so few games left to play. There's such a traffic jam in the middle of the standings. Three points for either of these squads could catapult them all the way up to third, depending on what happens with Houston, Kansas City tonight. Um, it's also interesting to note that for the Spirit, they won the first match, uh, was tied the second. So Spirit would have the tiebreaker, the head-to-head -head tiebreaker, if they get at least a tie in this match. You talk about a traffic jam in the standings. Four points separates third from eighth as we are underway in Cary, North Carolina here in just a matter of moments. And the players will come together at the center circle in a moment of solidarity. We saw this over the weekend and last Wednesday.
Love seeing these players come together, make a statement like this. Seeing these players, especially the non-national team players, Josh, working together through the Players Association. To a, to a resolution of their contract, their first ever CBA for the non-national teamers with the league. And of course, the big announcement today on, on behalf of the Players Association that the final is moving to Louisville. And now we are underway here in Cary, North Carolina. North Carolina in their home blue kits, Washington Spirit and the All Whites. Josh Toll and the keeper, Jen Cooper, here with you this evening as Sam Staub will play it over to Emily Sai. You look at this Washington side, Jen, unbeaten in their last six games, excluding the two forfeits that they have. They've been one of the hotter teams here in the NWSL as of late. Chris Ward, I mean, you're the acting head coach. I don't think we've had a new head coach acting or otherwise in NWSL who's had such a record to start their career. This one played across the inline for a goal kick. You saw Tara McCune moving up on that outside wing. She's been very influential in these last few games for the Washington Spear in her first season at a USC where she was the Pac-12 forward of the year. I'd say easily one of the most dynamic rookies that we've seen this season. And she didn't even go through preseason with the Spirit. She joined the club at the conclusion of the NCAA season this spring, has had an immediate impact getting regular minutes, regular starts. This one dropped back. Paige Nielsen getting the start tonight for the Washington Spirit. We've seen her at the center back position, now seen her at the outside back position. Early one, early one. Sonnet taking over that right center back spot that Paige Nielsen used to hold these last couple years for the Spirit. And there is Ashley Hatch, former member of the North Carolina Courage, where she won Rookie of the Year, where she scored seven goals in a season. Ricaro inching up the field, playing to Lynn Williams. Drop back pass. Now to O'Sullivan at the middle of the field. Dabinia, the Brazilian, playing it to Lynn Williams, gets it on the return. Out wide. Speck will play it outside on the wing. Matthias driving in at O'Hara, crossing. Solid catch for Aubrey Bledsoe. We've talked about her so much this season, but it always bears repeating. No one has started in net for the spirit other than Aubrey Bledsoe dating back to August 2018. So commanding, such a professional. I love how Chris Ward talked about that she's dedicated to her craft. Dabinia tripped up and free kick here for the North Carolina Courage. Aubrey Bledsoe back-to-back -back clean sheets and looking to possibly make it three in a row. Dabinia trying to get around Ashley Sanchez. Sanchez sweeps. Her leg around takes out Dabinia. The Brazilian getting the free kick, lining up alongside Carson Pickett. Dabinia will play it out wide to Pickett. Clipped on, headed on by Williams. Dabinia, one of the three Brazilians from NWSL who's been named to Brazil's roster for their upcoming friendlies in Australia, against Australia. And there's Kerry Ricaro starting in that midfield. Chris Ward, 3-0 and 3. Love that. Nielsen. Side steps to her right. I'm talking with Sean Ahas about the game against the Houston Dash, which North Carolina fell in that one by a score of four to one, just a lone goal from Jess McDonald. He said they weren't themselves trying to get back that here tonight, really trying to pick themselves up and move forward into this game here tonight against the Washington Spirit. Really wanted to forget about that game. This is where you have to be a goldfish, Josh. Move on. Focus on the task at hand. It's been a pretty tough time 
for North Carolina. And that's an understatement. Well, Sullivan, diagonal ball up front, looking for Lynn Williams. Back is stopped, though, and she'll relay it back to Aubrey Bledsoe. Sana in her first season with the Washington Spirit after coming over in a trade with the Orlando Pride. Nielsen. Nielsen will play it all the way back to Staub. Josh, it's been an interesting transition for North Carolina. You know, no longer have Abby, Abby Dahlkemper. Jalene Daniels retired at the beginning of the year. I think people tend to forget that they lost one of the best left backs in the league. They haven't had Samantha Mua. She's been out with an injury since the Olympics. We did ask Sean Nehas about Mewis and her expected return, and, and I thought he was pretty cautious. He's like, you know, when she's ready, when she's healthy, great, but there's no reason to risk any injury if it, you know, just to, to bring her back early. Williams. Williams sitting on 410 shots in her NWSL career. That's tied for best ever in the league with Sam Kerr. Could possibly break that here this evening. O'Sullivan. And Lynn Williams definitely creeping up on Sam Kerr's goal record too, slowly but surely. O'Hara. McCune giving chase, but Kaylee Kurtz right there for North Carolina. Kurtz, one of those bright spots this year for the Courage, filling in for Abby Dahlkemper. Dahlkemper now, of course, with Houston Dash. What impresses me about Kaylee Kurtz is if you go back and look at her stats from her first few seasons with the Courage, she didn't necessarily start very often, but every time she started, she played the full 90. So she wasn't like, oh, let's give you 10 minutes here. Let's give you 20 minutes here. It was, all right, you know, putting you in. You're going the full 90. We're testing you. Spat coming near side to Carson Pickett. She'll play to the back post. Headed away. The follow-up, and this one's going to find its way into the stands. Good strike there, but off target by Meredith Speck. Carson Pickett sending it in. Defensive header from O'Hara. Dabinia lets it ride for Meredith Speck, who skies it over the goal. Speck, that perennial bench player who's been in the league since 2014, getting more minutes this year as the North Carolina roster has really gone through changes. And it's so great to see her finally get her first two end of result goals. Scott Nahas talked about her saying that she's really a fourth coach. Another one <laughs> on that field. He said, after her career, if she's not coaching in two years, I think something's wrong. She's going to be a future coach. And he believes that that could very well happen in this league as that one will find its way to Paige Nielsen. Nielsen charging up the channel. I also like that he, he said she's the kind of player every locker room needs. Dorian Bailey just fanned on that pass attempt. And now Hatch, though, able to get the ball back for the Spirit. Hatch two times this year has scored a brace. She did it in last game against Louisville, and she did it against her former club here in the North Carolina Courage. Yeah, Hatch, a 2017 draft pick, number two overall by the Courage, and then traded before the 2018 season so that the Courage could pick up Crystal Dunn's rights. Pr traded along with Taylor Smith. Of course, Smith is now back with the Courage after a series of trades. Paige Nielsen, experience here in the NWSL as well as overseas, having played in Australia, Cyprus, as well as South Korea. Packed Wednesday night here in the NWSL. Four games in total here this evening. This one being the first of the four to kick.
Sanchez, always dangerous with the ball at her feet. McCune. Rodman. Rodman, two assists last game. Both coming on the Hatch goals. And here is Ashley Hatch. We'll play it back to O'Hara. O'Hara pauses, flicks it in. Offside flag is up against McCune. Love seeing Kelly O'Hara get so far forward. We've seen her play so much as a defender, both in NWSL and also for the national team. It's easy to forget that she spent her college career as a forward and also in her, her early NWSL years played a lot as forward in midfield at Sky Blue. Bailey will play it outside O'Hara. Carl coming near side and Speck. O'Sullivan back to Speck. McDonald trying to get to this ball, but O'Hara in easy position. Look at Aubrey Bledsoe, six clean sheets on the season, but on the other side, you have Casey Murphy for North Carolina with 10 at the moment. A clean sheet tonight, and she would tie a league record set by A.D. French of 11. Very much has kept her team in numerous games this season. Never have we had a North Carolina keeper face as many shots as Casey Murphy has in a single season. And I think that also speaks to the changes we've seen that back line go through. Hatch will send this away. McCune. Now Sullivan playing up for Lynn Williams. Looking for Dabinia. Headed up by Sonnet, but only as far as Speck. To McDonald, but that pass cut out. Rodman looking to go inside for Ashley Sanchez. Williams. Trying to thread that one through to Dabinia, but played away by Sam Staub. Houston in the circle. McCune. Too heavy of a touch, looking for Ashley Hatch on that one. Hatchie. Look at this North Carolina club. They've struggled in their last six, just one win during that time frame. That lone win coming in dominant performance though against Race in Louisville. Yeah, defensively, they've been so strong, but offensively have still struggled to produce what we know they're capable of producing. Look at the Spirit, though, off their 3-0 to zero win against Louisville. Talking with head coach Chris Ward, how it might have been hit the most complete game his club has played all season. Talked about how it was the most free and in-sync performance that his team has had this year. Talked about how the tempo was high and the ability that they were able to play quickly really played a factor into them getting that win. Hatch, pushing up. Played it behind Rodman. Huster. O'Hara with some room. Dabinia to the near side. Emily Sonnet just shutting down everything coming through the middle. So we weren't quite sure where she would play to begin this year with the Washington Spirits. Saw her play outside back and in the midfield. 
but now has made a home for herself at that center back position. Former number one overall draft pick of the Portland Thorns. Sanchez. O'Hara. She's going to give it a go, and that's going to one hop into the arms of Casey Murphy. Casey Murphy on the season. In five games this year, she has made seven or more saves. She has been a tremendous pickup in the trade coming over from O.L. Reign in the offseason. Yeah, part of that three-team trade that sent Crystal Dunn to Portland. Of course, Portland and O.L. Reign will be playing later on tonight, 10.30 Eastern in the Cascadia rivalry. That game has pretty big implications too, Josh, if we get a Portland win tonight, it means only Portland or the OL Reign could reach the number one well position. Well O'Sullivan, McDonald. O'Sullivan will play to Ricaro. Urseg, the captain once again. Oh, it nearly found its way to McDonald. Now cut out by Speck. Dabinia strikes it with her right foot. That bounce could have been dangerous, but Aubrey Bledsoe read that well. Dabinia, three goals on the season, matching her total from this year's Challenge Cup. Speck being pressured by Rodman. One's going to hop over to the foot of Rodman and find Carson Pickett. Urseg. Kurtz at the halfway line. Sanchez, out wide to McCune. On the overlap is O'Hara, that's where McCune will go. You look at these two teams, last time Washington was in the playoffs, you go back to 2016 where they reached the NWSL championship for North Carolina, a familiar position in the playoffs, have made it the last three seasons. Dangerous pass back, and Bledsoe not able to keep it in play. North Carolina will have the first corner of the night. Josh, there's so few players left from that 2016 Spirit squad. Maybe just Tori Huster. And now Carson Pickett will come over. 91 corner kicks now after this one on the season. Back post headed away by Hatch. Dabinia looking to send it right back into the mixer. Pick it towards the six. And Bledsoe able to grab that one out of air and maybe try to spring a counter right now for the Spirit. Hatch. Here's Sanchez back out wide. Hatch nine goals on the season, tied for the league lead with Bethany Balser and Rachel Daly. Both those two players will be playing tonight as well. 
talking about the playoff race and then you look at the golden boot race everything coming down to the wire this season and what has been a tight contest all over the place here in the nwsl and then you add into it this really compressed schedule all of the games tonight were originally meant to be played october 1st october 2nd rescheduled at the request of the players association adds right, to the drama right. i think for some teams yeah. it, it kind of adds to the momentum look at that cutting there by dabinia to get past the defenders just weaving her way through them Third and final meeting between these two clubs. There hasn't been a regular season before where North Carolina failed to beat the Spirit. Of course, they beat them in Challenge Cup in April, but within the regular season, they have not beat them yet this year. Urseg. Look at Urseg. Captain here for North Carolina, a former captain for New Zealand, was actually the youngest captain at the age of 17. Quite the leader back there for Sean Nahas. I think you can go back to all the way to 2007, Josh, and if New Zealand has played in Olympics or World Cup, Abby Urseg played the full 90 for every game they played. Show, show. O'Hara. O'Hara in her first season with the Washington Spirit, played previously with Utah Royals FC before coming over to Washington. Sanchez. McCune. Washington right now struggling to get anything going possession wise in that final third to create any real chance. Pick it diagonal ball to Lynn Williams. Williams here and that one just sails over. Lovely cross switching fields. Williams settles, gets the shot off, but it's just a little high. Lynn Williams, seven goals on the season, has led North Carolina in scoring these last three seasons. Look at her, over 50 goals in her NWSL career, second in the NWSL ever in league assists. Productive, whether it's scoring or distributing the ball. Now, the only player with more Cindy Russell assists than Lynn Williams is her teammate, Jess McDonald. This ball driven forward. Rodman, offside flag is up. You look at this Washington Spirit side coming in on back-to-back -back shutouts. I'm talking with Chris Ward. He's just talking about how they're trying to give them a resolute plan and where to be defensively. Really want to be clear on what they want to do. And on the same page, moving forward, talking about the adjustments that they've made throughout the course that he has been in charge as interim head coach, the communication that's being put out, as well as just laying out a game plan that they understand and how to execute it best. Pick it. Yeah, we have to remind ourselves, Josh, that these coaches haven't had a lot of time to actually train with these players, especially the new coaches, but also with all the schedule changes and different issues popping up over the last two weeks. There has not been a lot of just pure training time. It's a challenge for any coach, but even more so for a new coach. And there's interim coach Chris Ward for the Washington Spirit. things he's talked about is how his phone bill has gone up now having to deal with us on these coaches calls but also having to deal with a lot of other things in terms of players in terms of preparation and just how this Washington squad wants planning. to move forward planning training I 
see Kelly O'Hara on the ground as she's able to get up. Former Mac Herman Trophy winner at the University of Stanford. And one of three Washington Spirit players called up for the upcoming U.S. friendlies against South Korea. They've got two dates in the upcoming October FIFA window. Emily Sonnet and Andy Sullivan also called up from the Spirit. And Lynn Williams from North Carolina. How is that different from the no call there? Referee. I've said before we need to, to mic the coaches, but I love that in some cases we don't even need to mic the coaches. We can hear they're so close to that that center line mic. Um, and the referee, Josh, coming over, I don't think he agrees with Chris Ward. Well, you can hear there on our microphones. <laughs> There's his warning. That's all. And now Pickett will set up for the free kick. I want you to stay here. Then tell him. Tell him he needs to do his job. Pickett to the top of the area. Ricaro. Pickett will send it right back into the area and headed away by Washington. Sanchez coming near side to Rodman. Back to Sanchez, just a little heavy on that touch by Ashley Sanchez, couldn't control possession. Williams. Toward the left foot, strikes it. That one just wide of that left post. Beautiful ball here by Lynn Williams, but just couldn't get it to curl in. As this game remains scoreless here at Wake Med Soccer Park in Cary, North Carolina, as Sonnet will play it to Nielsen. Yeah, Terry, you can still look at the gap there. Nielsen the trying to just chip that one right over Denise O'Sullivan, unable to do so. Kurtz to O'Sullivan. Dispossessed the ball by Rahman. Maybe a chance here for Washington. Cuts it across. O'Hara. That pass chopped down. McDonald to Lynn Williams. Spring forward is Williams. Strikes with that right and stopped by Bledsoe. Well read by Bledsoe in position, brought it down just to be safe, both hands on it, really commanding in the box. Dangerous shot from distance with Lynn Williams' right boot, but no problem for Aubrey Bledsoe. Look at the success that Lynn Williams has had throughout her career. Three times she's scored 10 or more goals in a season. And she's been the goal leader for this club every season it's been in existence. Sanchez has Hatch inside as well as Rahman. Sanchez dragged to the ground by Kaylee Kurtz and our first yellow card will come out of the evening. Spirit getting a free kick in a pretty opportune place. Okay, 
Sanchez trying to get past Kurtz. Kurtz uses her arm to get Sanchez Kurtz out of the way. Curtis, Our referee, Sergei Demanchek, immediately <laughs> lifts the yellow card there on Kurtz. Kelly O'Hara will set up. Looping into the back post. McCune trying to poke it away, unable to get it by the North Carolina defenders. Bledsoe way out of her box, helping Paige Nielsen take that ball forward. McDonald heads it back. No one there, though, for North Carolina. An opportunity for Hatch. Slots it through to Sanchez. Near post blocked away by Casey Murphy. Chris Ward calls Sanchez one of the best players in the league, and it's easy to see why here. Hatch sending it through. Sanchez trying to go near post. She almost slotted that in past Murphy, but Murphy read it well, parried it out. Dorian Bailey will set up in the near corner for the Spirit. Headed away by McDonald. O'Hara. McCune. Headed up into the air and just over the crossbar. And this will be a goal kick. Washington was saying they should have been in corner, but a goal kick for Casey Murphy. We talked about Ursex time with New Zealand. I'm assuming she'll be on the roster for New Zealand when they take on Canada in the upcoming October window. Two friendlies for the Canadian gold medalists to celebrate their Olympic accomplishment. Both those games will be up in Canada, of course. Offside flag is up against Jessica McDonald. She does not agree, Josh. Can't see when that pass left the foot, but where she received it, she was definitely behind that back line. Nielsen. Okay. Abby Ersig began her NWSL career with the Chicago Red Stars and then worked her way to Western New York. And then ever since 2017, it's been with his North Carolina side. Best center backs, not just in the NWSL, but the world as well. Get spoiled with players like Abby Ursag, Becky Sauerbrunn, another one to think of. Well, I like when we were talking to Sean Nahas that he referred to her a couple times as Kiwi. And I figure that's a holdover from when they, they had both Abbies, both Abby Dahlkemper and Abby Ursig on the roster, and you gotta differentiate somehow, right? McCune. Matthias right with her. Matthias back from injury after sitting out last season. Tabinia. Now an opportunity here for McDonald. Gets by Sonnet. Square ball. Well, Speck was in the area. Lynn Williams not far behind. Lynn laughing that foul off. It did look like Tori Huster got clipped. Tori Huster every season with the Washington Spirit. Now, 
Consistency. It's the exact same thing. No. No, it's not. See there, Chris Ward arguing with our assistant referee on the near touchline. Nielsen. Would love to have an, an online referee clinic with coaches and, and referees for all of us announcers and fans to watch, discuss, you know, like play clips from different games. And that would be lively, don't you think, Josh? See how many times they're actually on the same page. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it depends on if those clips they show their team or if they're showing someone else's team. Now, the toughest part for a ref, right, is you're calling it in the moment. You don't get to. There is no VAR here. There is no let's go look at the instant replay. Look at this North Carolina team. Back-to-back -back NWCL champions in 2018 and 2019. And of course, COVID coming into play. So in 2020, you had the first Challenge Cup, which the Houston Dash won. This year's Challenge Cup going to the Portland Thorns. Well, what's most impressive to me, Josh, about the courage is that they won all three shields their first three seasons, 2017, 2018, 2019. It's looking like this will be the first season that they don't, but just the their consistent excellence. You know, like we can look down on them and go, oh, this isn't the courage of 2018, but it's like still such an intensely competitive and successful team. These two teams coming into the evening. North Carolina fourth in the playoff race. Washington right behind them in that fifth spot. Just two points separates these two teams. And we gotta be careful to not look too closely at just the places because Gotham lurking not far behind them actually has an extra game to play and will play Louisville twice the final week of the season. Strength of schedule coming into play right there, right. especially for Gotham. You know, one thing helping some of these teams is Chicago and Orlando face off twice, including tonight. So they're taking points away from each other. Other games in the NWL you talked about Chicago and Orlando, that one kicking at 8 p.m. Eastern. So about 15 minutes into that one, as well as the Kansas City Houston game is here. McCune enters the area, looks for Hatch. Hatch, fans on it, and cleared away, but only Rodman. Rodman going into the far post, and it hits off Abby Ursag and goes in for the first goal for the Washington Spirit. And Josh, it was against the North Carolina Courage in the Challenge Cup in April that Trinity Rodman scored her first ever professional goal, becoming the youngest American to score in NWSL. Speck, a weak back pass. McKeown takes the ball, charges into the box. Square pass to Hatch doesn't work, up, work out, but the follow-up, ooh, right on that corner. Sounds like it is going to be credited as an own goal against Abby Ursig, so won't go down in Rodman's tally, but clearly she created that goal. And now the Spirit with that 1-0 to zero lead as we get closer to half. We'll have highlights and stats from this one, as well as what's coming up here in the NWSL. Plenty of games here tonight, as well as this weekend. Rodman. And just look how dangerous this Washington side can be when you don't clear the ball. McCune able to get the cross to Hatch. Hatch able to get a shot on, but then blocked away. Rodman took her time with that shot, wanted to go to that far post. But you see the patience from the young rookie in Trinity Rodman. Ursek just unable to clear it off the back line. Pick it to the spot. Oh, 
talking with Chris Ward about Trey Robin and Ashley Hatch and their chemistry that they have. So that those players, as well as Ashley Sanchez, really set the tone for us. Talk about what goes unnoticed about them, though, is their work rate defensively, which allows them to do different things. Says how much they both do in the attacking third, but as well as getting back defensively has been key to the success here over the course of the season. And I think the blend between these incredibly talented youth players Hatch. With, with veterans like, you know, Sonnet, Huster, O'Hara. This one given away by Tori Huster. Ball over the top intended for McDonald, but able to cut out that pass was Emily Sonnet. If she doesn't get her foot on that, McDonald is off to the races. Right now, three teams really coming into form here in O.L. Reign, this Washington Spirit side, as well as the Houston Dash. Teams peaking at the right moment here as we inch towards the finish line of the season. Aubrey Bledsoe certainly taking her time. Doesn't hurt to burn some minutes off the, off the clock as much as she can. You want to take that lead into the locker room. Matthias. Two defenders on her. Brown not agreeing with this as we will now have a throw for Washington. Great to see Merritt Mathias back talking with Sean Ahas about her, just really her ability attacking and moving up the field has been tremendous, providing service and good timing on the runs. Great to have her back. She's healthy and she's confident is what's most important. For Sullivan. Pickett pushing it up the field. Our side flag was up against North Carolina. Sonnet having a little bit of a discussion with our referee tonight, too. He's refereed a lot of USL, a little bit of MLS. I believe this is his first NWSL game, but he is no stranger to refereeing professional soccer matches. Ladies and gentlemen, the fourth official is dedicated to we'll have one minute, one minute of stoppage time, time added on. Minute. Stoppage time brought to you by Verizon. Nielsen. Huster. O'Hara giving chase, and this is going to find its way out past the far touch line. North Carolina's Abby Urseg. 
And there is the whistle to end the first half. Jen, your thoughts on the first 45 minutes of play? Well, the stats will show that things are pretty even in this game, but that big number one on the scoreboard tells us differently. Spirit playing their game, Courage not being able to. It looked like the Courage had things going their way early in the first half, but then things went to Washington. Ultimately, Trinity Rodman getting the best opportunity of the night, hitting off Abby Urseg for the lone goal in this one as we will head to half. Washington Spirit up on the road against the North Carolina Courage 1-0. We'll have highlights and stats as well as what is upcoming here in the NWSL. Welcome back. We are at half here at Wake Meg Soccer Park in Cary, North Carolina, between the North Carolina Courage and Washington Spirit. But still, plenty of action in the NWSL. Four games tonight, including the Cascadia rivalry, which will kick at 10.30 Eastern between the Portland Thorns and O.L. Reign. And then Saturday, right back at it, Racing Louisville hosting Orlando Pride. Chicago Red Stars welcoming Kansas City and O.L. Reign. And Washington will close it out at 10 p.m. Eastern on Saturday night. The NWSL Championship, November 20th at noon. Also, that is now moved to Lynn Family Stadium in Louisville, Kentucky. When we return, we'll have highlights and stats from the first 45 minutes of play. Welcome back to Wake Med Soccer Park in Cary, North Carolina. North Carolina trailing 1-0 to zero against the Washington Spirit as we'll take a look back at the first half action between these two clubs here from Cary, North Carolina. It's been pretty close this this first half, Josh. Jess McDonald sending the ball over to Lynn Williams, making the run down the right side, getting the shot off. But Aubrey Bledsoe was right there in the middle of the net. Gets both hands on it. Keeps that out of the back of the goal. Lynn Williams, now she, she's got to be the all-time lead record now in shots, right? I believe that would give her 4-11 right there. <laughs> And a few minutes later, Spirit going forward. Ashley Sanchez going near post, but Casey Murphy snuffs that out, sends the ball out wide with both hands. Sanchez doing a lot of great work in this half. And then the 40th minute, weak back pass from Mary Speck. Tara McKeown coming into the box, square pass to Ashley Hatch. Doesn't work out, but the follow up to Trinity Rodman does. We're still not sure if that's gonna be an own goal against Abby Urseg or a goal for Trinity Rodman, but either way, Washington Spirit up 1-0 at the end of the first half. Washington up 1-0 as we take a look at the first half stats. Pretty even down the board, but the most important one that matters though, Washington up 1-0. I'm not surprised that the possession is so close considering how much Spirit really like to pass the ball. Both of these teams defensively have been pretty strong. Caroline especially. I mean, they recently set the record for longest stretch without allowing a goal. But the question is, who's going to turn their offense on fire in the second half? When you look at this North Carolina side, too, you have obviously Jess McDonald, Lynn Williams on the field. At one point, could we see Amy Rodriguez to give them a jolt of energy for the Washington Spirit? They'll look to maintain this 1-0 to zero lead, but they'll also look to find that extra goal to give themselves a little breathing room in this contest against North Carolina. You can never sleep on the courage, but here at half, Washington up 1-0 to zero over North Carolina. We'll be back with second half for kick for you right here on Paramount+. Plus. Welcome back to Wake Med Soccer Park in Cary, North Carolina. Just seconds away here from second half kick between the North Carolina Courage and the Washington Spirit. Spirit leading here as we come out of half. As we take a look at the standings right now at the moment, this is what you're looking at. If the night were to end, this would be your top six moving on here in the NWSL. <laughs> I mean, three, three to eight just keep juggling around. So you can't sleep on the NWSL. The teams are just going to keep moving. The cool thing is tonight and the games this weekend, we will really start to to have a better sense of who's going to be the six in the playoffs. More importantly, 
who's going to host the semifinals and get a bye to the semifinals and who's going to host the quarterfinal round the first weekend of November, but so, so close here. That's what makes things so unique this year with six teams being in the playoffs, the top two teams getting that by, something we've never seen before here in the NWSL as we look like we might get a few subs here. I love that it means, Josh, that the, the playoffs will last longer. Um, you know, previously it's like, okay, playoffs, you have the semifinal weekend and then the final and it's over. So this kind of ex extends the competition of the playoffs. Also gives four teams instead of two teams the opportunity to host a playoff game. And of course, the announcement was made earlier today, the final, it's not gonna be in Portland, it's gonna be in Louisville. And so it'll still be same time, same channel. Portland, you know, put out an announcement saying, you know, we understand the, the, the move, we're okay with the move. It was at the request of the NFL Players Association and, and they understand that there are fans who had already booked tickets to Portland and they hope those fans will understand. But I think it's a great thing for, for Louisville. I like to see the final moving around to different venues. Two subs coming in at half for the Washington Spirit. Anna Helferty in for Tara McCune and Julia Rotter will come in for Paige Nielsen. We'll see how not just in this game, but how teams throughout the league use their substitutions as they have more games upcoming here on Saturday and Sunday as we are underway here in the second half from Cary, North Carolina. Josh Toll and the keeper, Jen Cooper, here with you this evening. North Carolina trailing by one. Jen, what are you looking for out of them here in the second half to find that equalizer? They've got to get more coordinated in, in the midfield. We saw a few attempts in the, in the first half to kind of chip it over the midfield and hope for the long ball. You know, we saw Jess McDonald get caught off sides. We saw Lynn Williams make a run from deep. Um, I, I think they've got to be a little bit more creative, maybe possess the ball even more. They certainly have the tools. They're just not all coming together. And now the first touch by Dorian Bailey here in the second half. Pressured by Dabinia. Bailey blocked by Dabinia. Now Mayor Mathias will play it to the Brazilian. The Washington Spirit making those two substitutions there at half with Helferty as well as Rotter coming in. Each team can make up to five subs and they're allowed three sub windows other than halftime. So Spirit still has three sub windows. And as you mentioned, Josh, rotation of roster is gonna be so key tonight and this weekend where you had this really jam-packed schedule right before the October FIFA window. So also you look at Washington Spear without Andy Sullivan here this evening with her battling the injury going off in the game last week against Louisville. And Merritt Mathias will earn North Carolina the first corner here in the second half. Mathias, such an integral part of this club coming over from the rain in 2018. Like all the outside backs who have played for North Carolina, capable of getting forward into the attack and even scoring goals. Pick it. Near post ball. Rodman. She'll clear it all the way down the field. As of right now, Rodman credited with the first goal of the game. We're organized. And off Abby Urseg and went into the North Carolina net. So with that goal for Trinity Rodman, she now has five in her rookie season to go with five assists. Spack in the channel. And right back in, repelled away by the Spirit. Kurtz to Matthias. Here's the captain, Urseg. Matthias down the line. Beautiful pass to Ricaro. Not sure what she was thinking there, but thankfully. 
Nothing bad came of that. Kara Ricaro, we've seen her in and out of the starting lineup. She's one of those kind of like always reliable. You can put her in at midfield, put her in at defense. First round draft pick back in 2016 with Houston. Picked up by the Courage before the 2018 season. Matthias will leave this for Casey Murphy. With this North Carolina team, so many different changes. Not the same dominant box midfield that we're used to seeing. Much different year this year in 2021 for the Courage. Large part due to the injury of Sam Hughes, one of the world's best. But just seems and to also be like trying trying out some different players as you know, like we mentioned, you know, losing Dahl Kemper, losing Mewis, losing Jaylene Daniels, bringing in on Harad James, Diane Caldwell from Europe. James has seen a lot of starts lately, but kind of testing different players. You know, we, we've seen Mary Speck get a lot more time. Kaylee Kurt stepping up and becoming a regular starter. Just wondering when that chemistry up front with McDonald, Lynn Williams, and Amy Rodriguez could hit like it did a couple games ago against Louisville. McDonald to the end line. Well, and that's the interesting thing about bringing Amy Rodriguez over from Kansas City. That speaks to a three front, Josh, right? And they're so used to the box of 2-2-2. Two, 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 and, and it seems like they've reverted to that lately. So how do you get all three of those players on the field and find that chemistry? because they're all such potent goal scorers. Pick it. We'll play it short. Spec. To the back post, beautiful ball headed up and tipped over the crossbar by Aubrey Bledsoe. You always have to watch out for a player like Abby Urseg on these corner spots where most of her goals come from. Great lofted ball from Mary Speck. Directed back on frame by Abby Erdseg. But, but Aubrey Bledsoe gets a hand on it, gets it over. There's Erdseg. It looked like it was actually Lynn Williams who got that first one. I was mistaken on that. But another player that can elevate. And Both of them have the such ball. incredible hops. They have three great players that have the ability to score with their head. Jess McDonald, Abby Urseg, and Lynn Williams on those set pieces. Good play there defensively by Kaylee Kurtz. Raman able to keep it in play. No, there is the whistle and a goal kick here for North Carolina. Yeah, Trinity Rodman was supposed to go to Washington State, but with COVID, did not even play in a game for the Cougars. And then she did spend a semester or two there, a semester, but yeah, did not get to play an NCAA game. That must have been really frustrating. Well, you look at the success that she has had here in the NWL. You mentioned it earlier, youngest American to score a goal here in the NWL's regular season. A player with what's looking like a tremendous future in front of her. And she would have killed it in the U-20 Women's World Cup last year if it hadn't been canceled. And she's still age eligible for the U-20 Women's World Cup next year. You also look at the chemistry. She's already building with Ashley Hatch as well as Ashley Sanchez. O'Hara down the line. Dabinia pick it. Sullivan talking about North Carolina acquisitions in the offseason we talked about on James Dan Caldwell we gotta give a shout out to Carson Pickett huge pickup for this club assist leader corner kick leader Well, there's three weeks left in the season but for me she's got to be one of those players that's in the conversation for best 11 this year in the NWSL. Well, and three weeks is misleading when you think about it. It's today, this weekend, and then the long ha Halloween weekend where we have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday games. 
So very few games left. I wouldn't even say three weeks. I would say less than two weeks. Matthias to the top of the area. Rodman. Great ball, and Sanchez unable to get there as Pickett able to cut off the angle. You look at last year for Ashley Sanchez, named the Future Legends Award winner here in the NWSL for the Challenge Cup and Fall Series. I guess what would be equivalent to Rookie of the Year, essentially. Yeah, still waiting to, to see when we can vote on the regular season awards, and I'm just gonna keep campaigning for new awards, like Newcomer of the Year, Breakout Player of the Year, I would say would be Carson Pickett. Goal of the year. Bailey will play it outside. O'Hara. There again, you see that defensive pressure by Trinity Rodman. You're good. You're good. Dabinia, just on the edge of the area. That one stopped by Bledsoe, and now played away by the Spirit. Dangerous ball sent in there by the Brazilian. for Julia Rotter, play college at Florida Gulf Coast. Played professionally in Sweden before coming back stateside to the NWSL. O'Hara. Chance here for Hell for T. Rodman. At a steep angle, blocked away by O'Sullivan, corner coming for the Spirit. And it doesn't matter how tight that angle is. Trinity Rodman can find a way. North Carolina have to shut it down. They cannot let her get the ball in the box that close to the net. Bailey will line up. Inward swinging ball. Bailey. Houston at midfield. tonight for Washington. They can move up to third in the standings. Right now where Houston currently sits with 32 points. Houston was trailing earlier against Kansas City by a score of 1-0. Goal by Darian Jenkins, also in the Chicago-Orlando game. Kaylee Watt with a goal for the Red Stars. A lot of soccer left to be played in all these games, Josh. And then, of course, we've got the big NWSL at night. Night cap. Number one, Portland hosting number two, Rain. We've never had those teams face off while they were the top two teams in the standings. Sano play outside. Diagonal ball. Rodder.
Sanchez turns. Creates a little space. At the top of the area, drops it back for Helferty. Go, go hard! Tapinia down the line. A oh, nice thread ball if Lyndon Williams can get there. Nice tackle. That challenge by Emily Sonnet breaking up that pass to Lynn Williams. Good build up there from the Courage. Great challenge though by Sonnet. Now a chance here for Washington. Rodman calling for the ball and too heavy of a pass there for Washington. It's all right, it's all right. Let's go, get together here. Get together here. Keep going, keep going. Alfredy, one of five draftees from this year signed by the Spirit. No one else has five draftees on their roster right now. Just look at what the Spirit have done over the course of these past few seasons. When talking about the draft, 15 players drafted by the Washington Spirit all on this roster. McDonald takes a ricochet, Speck, and puts it in the corner for the equalizer. Meredith Speck with her third goal of the season. What an equalizer from the end of his cell veteran, Josh. As we mentioned before, love how the coach says every team, every locker room needs a player like Meredith Speck. And hey, when she can find an equalizer like that, more power to her. Jess McDonald making the run down the left flank, coming into the box, crosses the ball. Speck sneaks in at the last moment to get it past Aubrey Bledsoe, who looks like she has the near post covered. But Speck is not deterred, gets that in the net. 1-1, Courage Spirit in the 61st minute. Big equalizer there for the former Yale Bulldog. And now game on once again as North Carolina has stolen a little bit of momentum here in the second half. Look at this Washington side. Troubles historically against North Carolina, just two wins all time against the Courage. Well, that's what's funny. You can say that for every club, troubles historically against the North Carolina Courage, because the Courage came out, you know, as a club, you know, since they had been the Western New York Flash, they came out so strong. They've had such an incredible history just since 2017. But I think we're seeing the, the playing field start to level. Chance here now for Helverty, and then back was Kurtz. Speck. You know, Speck is one of those players, you know, we're talking about the draftees for the Spirit, not even taken in an NWSL draft, was a tryout player briefly with Portland in 2015, didn't make the roster played abroad and then came back for 2016, got on the Western New York Flash. O'Sullivan. Pick it. They thread this one to McDonald and Sonnet will have to play it across the end line in another corner here for North Carolina. Set and we'll redo this as some tugging of jerseys was going on on that top of the 18. Oh, 
slow roller back. Sanchez now here, a chance to go out wide to Rodman, does to Binia. Able to get around her. Rodman now will wait for help as this was last touch by North Carolina. Oh, they're gonna say last touch by Washington. Rodman does not agree with that. And she's letting the referee know. Rodman with the first or goal. Or rather the assistant referee. Rodman with the first goal in the 39th minute and then Speck would score in the 60th for North Carolina. We'll take a look back. Tough call either way. Seems like both teams are equally frustrated with the referee right now, Josh. Sullivan knocked over from behind. Look at Ashley Hatch. Majority of her goals coming at home this season. Seven of her nine coming at home on the year. She's struggled on the roll in terms of scoring, but always productive in some other way. McDonald near post ball. McDonald trying to cut to her left. Fifth man, this is usually oh, around the time we'll here. start seeing teams make changes. We've already had two on the evening for the Washington Spirit. Speck, an opportunity maybe for her second goal. Speck. And here's a look back at her goal earlier. Jess McDonald sending the ball through. A little bit of deflection off of Julia Rodder. And then she gets the ball under sliding Aubrey Bledsoe. So right now they're saying that hit off Bledsoe, then hit off the arm of Rodder. And as of right now, credited it as an own goal to Julia Rodder. I don't buy that, Josh. Looks like it hit Rodder first and then got tapped in under Bledsoe, but. Looks like we could have had two own goals. One didn't go in the way of Abby Ursig, and then this second yeah. half right now, the official staff of San And Affleck. Chicago's not even in this game. <laughs> own goal always playing a factor this year in the NWSL. Merritt Mathias. To the spot, headed away. O'Hara to Sanchez. Bailey. And it looks like we've got a North Carolina sub coming up, Josh, the first for the courage tonight. We saw Amy Rodriguez standing at the center line. Williams. That dangerous right foot, and that one stopped by diving Bledsoe. Low bullet from Lynn Williams. Bledsoe got down on that quickly. Join, join, join. I love the performance of all the keepers this season. Shows you just the incredible pool of goalkeepers we have in this league, in this country. And here's the sub, Meredith Beck, coming out. 
veteran Amy Rodriguez acquired in a trade with Kansas City during the summer coming on. Rodriguez, one of the players with the highest goals per game ratio. So Speck will go off and now officially credited with that goal. That See, goal they for listen Speck to me. Coming in the 60th minute. And now we've got our three potent strikers all together for the courage. Rodriguez, McDonald, Williams. Can they find the go-ahead goal for the courage? We've seen Lynn Williams too here with some opportunities in this second half. Maybe she can get that eighth goal of the season here. But right now, corner coming for Washington. Bailey drives it forward. Chance here for Rodder, and that one stinks by Casey Murphy, and Washington takes a two to one lead. North Carolina not prepared for that at all. Love the initiative from the Olympic silver medalist. Who just come on as a sub at half. Bailey, big lofting ball. Defense sends it out. Rotter sends it in on the ground. Hard to read with all those feet, all those bodies. And Casey Murphy trying to get back in position and it goes right by her. Spirit going up 2-1 with just about 20 minutes left to play. That's the first NWSL goal for Julia Rotter. First NWSL goal, maybe a game winner if Washington now can hold on to this lead. And not a player that you would be looking for a lot of offense from, but such a smart play. Well, that substitution for Chris Ward playing off for a goal for Julia Rotter. Chance here for Tabinia to Rodriguez. Looking for an equalizer. That one stopped by Aubrey Bledsoe. And we've seen Bledsoe have to make that stretch several times tonight. Low driven balls. But she makes that stretch. She gets down quickly. That one nearly hit off McDonald. Might have just skimmed that leg. Sanchez. Rodman in the near channel. Hits Good. off Merrick Mathias. And a corner kick once again for Washington. Washington's last goal coming off a corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got Taylor Almer coming in for Tori Huster. Almer originally signed as a national team replacement player this summer, upgraded to a senior contract after the Olympic window. Near post, headed away. Dabinia trying to clear it away, and Almer with her first touch, can't keep it in play. More than 15 minutes remains here in Cary, North Carolina, as the Courage trail by one. Four games tonight in the NWL. Chicago hosting Orlando right now. Kansas City taking on Houston. And then the nightcap at 10.30 Eastern. Cascadia rivalry on at Providence Park between Portland and O.L. Reign. 
And then, of course, we've got games Saturday and Sunday before the teams have a break and the international players join their teams for friendlies and qualifiers. McDonald. That one off the crossbar. How did that not go in, Josh? O'Sullivan, McDonald. That one sneaks through and nearly got by, but Bledsoe with another great save, denying Lynn Williams. Six saves already for Aubrey Bledsoe. Player of the match for sure. Jess McDonald getting that first shot off. The post says, nope, not going in. And then the follow-up from Lynn Williams, Bledsoe stretching and catching the bobble as well. Williams has been close tonight, but what a strike by McDonald. Trinity Rodman's night is now finished for the Washington Spirit. She'll leave with a goal on the evening. And coming in will be Tegan McGrady. Yeah, with games this weekend, you got to manage those minutes, even in a youngster like Rodman. O'Sullivan. Good. Easy, easy. Bailey. Patience now by the Spirit. Taking off a little bit of that clock. For Sullivan. And we should have a couple of subs here coming for North Carolina in just a moment. And subs can really make a break or game, make or break your game. I mean, I feel like sometimes if a lot of subs come come in, it disrupts the momentum. You lose a little bit of cohesion. Maybe not everyone's on the same page. At the same time, they can provide a really needed spark. Find that one game changer. Every point matters. So your North Carolina, hey, maybe you don't get a win, but that draw could be crucial win or draw for Spirit, and it gives them, ultimately, if they need it, the head-to-head -head tiebreaker against the Courage in case they end up tied in the standings. And I'm thinking that we're gonna have a lot of tiebreakers to deal with at the end of the regular season. Matthias, Dabinia out wide, McDonald. McDonald looking for A-Rod. Few different North Carolina players with an opportunity for that second goal here, but unable to find it as of yet. McDonald with the best chance, and here Washington losing possession, and now we will have that substitution for North Carolina as Taylor Smith will come on for Jess McDonald. Fans, put your hands together for number 14. It's Jess McDonald. Taylor two. Smith, who started her NWSL career with the Western New York Flash, moved with the club to North Carolina Courage. Couple of trades, and now she's back with the Courage. And I'm sure she loves playing on this field, Josh, because this is where she won a national title with UCLA back in 2013. Never hurts to come back to something where you have great memories from as Carson Pickett will set up with that left foot. Punched away. Ten minutes remains here at Cary, North Carolina as the Washington Spirit look for their ninth win of the season.
take away those two forfeits by the Spirit. Washington would be unbeaten in their last seven games. Rodriguez. Again, again, again. Keep going, keep going. McGrady playing it down the line. Harris stepping in front of Ricaro on this pass, and now looking to counter the other direction. Look at this, slipped this to Sanchez. Just too heavy of a touch. We've got another Washington sub coming up, Kumi Yokoyama coming in at the next opportunity. Yokoyama joining the Spirit at the beginning of last season. Got their first NWSL goal in the fall series last year. And they will now come in for Ashley Sanchez. Yokoyama has been part of Japan's national team in the past, but was not part of the Olympic squad this summer. Number 10, Sanchez, coming in number 17, so Sanchez night is done. If you're just happen to be joining us, the first goal coming in the 39th minute, scored by Trinity Rahman. Then in the 60th minute, Meredith Speck would find the equalizer for North Carolina. And Julia Rotter would have the second goal coming in the 70th minute for the Washington Spirit. Pickett will head it on. Look at North Carolina's schedule doesn't get any easier for them. Up next, Gotham on Sunday, October 17th, and then they finish off the year on the road against the Portland Thorns. Meanwhile, for the Washington Spirit, up next for them, they'll head all the way to the Pacific Northwest to take on O.L. Reign, and then they finish the year at home with the Houston Dash. So not an easy stretch for either of these two teams these final weeks, as Hatch will play it in. Urseg to O'Sullivan. And courage that game against Gotham FC will be so crucial because Gotham has an extra game to play. He's sitting beneath them. You want to keep them below you want to keep them below you in the standings. And that's gonna be a really tough way to finish the regular season on the road at Portland. You three come in front. Kurt's able to get up. Yokoyama, they'll dispossess the ball. Bailey turns. Stab, diagonal ball. O'Hara, here's Dorian Bailey. And Stab will play it back to Aubrey Bledsoe. So seven saves on the night here against North Carolina. Rotter. Matthias.
pair of subs about to check in for North Carolina as Carson Pickett strides forward, now plays it inside. Rodriguez will drop it back to Binia. To Pickett, just too heavy of a touch there by Pickett as O'Hara tried to shepherd that one out of play. Palmer to Yokoyama. McGrady. It's Tom going over the top, looking for hell for T. Have those substitutions for North Carolina. On to Ron James will come onto the field for Kerry Ricaro. And then Ryan Williams will come on for Merritt Mathias. James, a Welsh international. She started both games for Wales in the September World Cup qualifiers. I bet she'll be called up for their upcoming games. And Ryan Williams, of course, no relation to Lynn Williams, just to be clear. One of those North Carolina draftees who just gets a little bit more minutes each year. Building up the resume, the player you can put in, in multiple positions. Versatility is such a key to get yourself on the field. Palmer will play it back. O'Hara high into the air. Ursag and the turnover. Hell for T. Chance here for Hatch. And now Washington will recycle. Almer on the far touch line. Yokoyama. Lozovin turned away from Yokoyama, then tripped up. This one played down the line. Lynn Williams. Hatch, Yokoyama. They'll drop this back. For the spirit, a little bit more than two minutes and probably some stop time change away from their ninth win of the season. And that would be a clean sweep of the courage in this regular season. Well, not the clean sweep, 2-0 and 1. But dominating performance against the courage for the Spirit in this regular season. Williams able to split the defenders. Now Taylor Smith on the end line. McGrady. Lots of white jerseys, Josh. Not seeing a lot of blue jerseys moving around. And then the giveaway by the Spirit. And this one played off to Beanie, and it'll find its way into the crowd. It has been a really tough two weeks for this North Carolina side. And they still have a legitimate shot at the playoffs. Still even have a chance to host a game. Still have a chance here for an equalizer. Dabinia. James, Smith, Smith crossing. No one on that back post. 
But pick it right there now for North Carolina in the channel. What a great move by Smith. Now Ryan Williams. Ursag in the circle. Beautiful ball outside to Ryan Williams. Great work by Ryan Williams to keep that ball in play multiple times. This is the fight we need to see from the Courage. Switching sides is Kurtz. Pick it. Dispossess of the ball, and now Washington will go the other direction. You see back defensively a help there is Lynn Williams. She's had opportunities tonight, but on anything, unable to get anything by Aubrey Bledsoe at the moment. Come on! Long goal All for, for this team. North Carolina All team coming from Meredith Speck in the 60th minute. And we've seen several close calls. Jess McDonald hitting the woodwork. Aubrey Bledsoe making several incredible saves. Three minutes of stoppage time will be added on here. Our stoppage time brought to you by Verizon. This one hits off Rodder, and now a corner coming for North Carolina. Kick it. Smith off the volley. Bledsoe keeping that ball up high, making it really clear. Keepers got this, stay away. Two for Washington. They will move up to third in the standings. And given the other scores right now, Josh will have three teams on 32 points right behind Washington. Ryan Williams. Stay, stay. Luke, coming into the evening, four points separating. Third place from eighth place in the table. O'Sullivan trying to turn. That ball knocked away momentarily. O'Sullivan will play it out to the near side. Ryan Williams looking to go inwards, looking for Amy Rodriguez. Rodder. Yokoyama. Brian Williams will play back. Kurtz will go outside to pick it. Now a chance here for Washington to run out the clock. Helferty playing to Hatch. Ursic down the line. And now Washington just waiting for that final whistle. And there it blows, and Washington will get the victory on the road, two to one over the North Carolina Courage. Jen, your thoughts on the 90 minutes of play? Well, player of the match for me is definitely Aubrey Bledsoe. So many saves. On, on shots that really could have been goals for North Carolina, could have put them in this game, but she made the difference. 
and such great work by her teammates to take advantage of any opportunity they found. So you had that first goal from Rodman and then just that it's seemingly out of nowhere goal from Julia Rodder, not a player we would have expected to have the game winner tonight. For the Washington Spirit now back to back wins as they are unbeaten in their last seven games, excluding those two forfeit games as they get the victory here tonight, two to one over the North Carolina Courage when we return highlights for you from Cary, North Carolina. Washington goes on the road and steals three points from the North Carolina Courage as they get the victory tonight, two to one, as we'll take a look back at the highlights from the 90 minutes of play between North Carolina and the Washington Spirit. What a game between these two clubs, which have both been struggling off the field and had different challenges on the field. Spirit getting the first goal. I love this Rodman shot inside post bouncing across the mouth of the goal. And then 60th minute equalizer from Carolina as Jess McDonald tries to send the ball across. Meredith Beck there for her third goal of the season to sneak that in behind Aubrey Bledsoe. Way to slot that in, Meredith Beck. And just about 10 minutes later, off a corner, Dorian Bailey sending it in. Julia Rotter with her first NWSL goal. So much traffic in that box, I don't think Casey Murphy could see that it was coming. First NWSL goal, like you said, for Julia Rotter and a game winner at that at big three points for Washington as we take a look at the possession. Possession favoring North Carolina there at the end as they push forward. But what can you talk about? Seven shots on goal. You look at what Aubrey bled. So you talk about how she would be your player of the game. Six saves on the night. Because clearly more possession, more shots. North Carolina was getting it done, except everywhere where it counted on the scoreboard. And that's because of Aubrey Bledsoe. Well, there's a reason she was goalkeeper of the year here in the NWSL. Big night for Aubrey Bledsoe to help give her team the two to one win over the North Carolina Courage. It doesn't get easier for either one of these teams. Moving forward, you look at North Carolina taking on Gotham. Meanwhile, for Washington, up next for them on the road as they will take on OL Reign. That one will be up in Tacoma, Washington. But for our crew, for Jen Cooper, I'm Josh Toll. Washington Spirit gets the win two to one over North Carolina. Enjoy the rest of your evening.